What up everybody? It is a blizzardy day. It's going to be having a snowstorm here in a bit. So I'm taking this house. It's like a decoration that, I don't know, decided that I don't really like it. So I'm going to turn it into a jerk bait. So, um, never made one before. And I've been watching a lot of Marling Baits. Shout out to Marling Baits on YouTube. And uh, I'm going to try to make this in one day, one day build. And excuse me for a little bit of congestion. No, it's not the vid. I checked. I don't have that. So we're going to get started. I'm going to cut this out and I don't know, hopefully make a jerk bait in one day. So a lot of people out there that are making their own baits online, they actually have a lot better tools than I do, but I have a scroll saw that I picked up from Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks and then i have like this little 50 dollar disc sander so i don't even have the belt sander on it but we're gonna make it work um so yeah let's get started <laughs> All right, so we got these split into two. We're we'll split into two jerk baits now, so I'm just gonna take those lines there. So I want to do my very best job of getting a good centered through wire on here. So before I actually do the chamfer lines and actually contour this bait, I'm going to put it in the vise. And I'm sure there's some of you who are like yelling at their screen right now. Don't do that. You're an idiot. Well, I am new to this, but I think this is my best chance to make sure that that through line is going to be nice and centered. So I'm setting it up in the vise and I'm going to just cut that through line real quick. Boom, I got two of them done. And now I have to cut out uh, a lip slot for these guys. Where, where do I want that lip to be? So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna get to actually doing the details and carving this bad boy out. All right, now it's time to round this bad boy out, make it more fish-like instead of Minecraft-like, square that is. Um, and it's so funny, I actually just came up with an idea for another video while carving this out. And uh, yeah, I'm excited for that one. So if you're watching this and you like it, go ahead and hit subscribe because there's another video coming out soon and I think you're going to like it. Guys, this is a new tool for me, so I totally forgot I had it. And it's going to make this a lot easier. Um, taking off these lines here to make it more uh, eh, fish-like. And instead of sanding it or carving it, I just, just touch it to here. I'm just gonna take it off nice and even right. So I got the lines drawn up. I'm just gonna carve those out really quick. Um, unfortunately, I do not have a way of doing that with one hand. So I'm just gonna have to time travel with you guys. So this is what it looks like now. And in about two seconds, you're gonna see what it looks like later. But it's gonna be probably about like 10 minutes for me. Okay. okay pine is definitely not a friend. Um, I'm just gonna go use the sander and sand these these bits off because that is chunky and I don't like it it's like ripping pieces of my bait apart 
So yeah, good thing I made two. All right, I've got the through wires all set up. I think this one I'm gonna end up doing a pike kind of paint job and this one a perch, which basically they'll end up looking identical. But uh, yeah, now I gotta go figure out the weighting uh, how much weight to put into these and I uh, gotta get that all sealed up so I can get to the painting. Okay, so I got the lead glued in and yes, it looks horrible. Um, <laughs> so one thing, I ended up gluing my fingers together a couple times and gluing my fingers to one of the baits. So that was a lot of fun. As you can see, it's a mess. I definitely need a lead pot so I can actually just pour hot lead into these holes instead of having to crush lead and make it fit. It would go a lot better. I don't know. There's so many tools that you just kind of need for the job to make it easier, but we're getting it done. We're going to go clean this up, seal it, and then paint it. Let's go. All right. Got them coated. Got to get that dried. And then uh, we'll be into paint. Well, <clears throat> this did not turn out to be a one day. Um, ended up getting congested. Um, <laughs> a little bit sick, but I'm going to finish this up. Uh, I'm going to be painting right now. And yeah, I really need to get better gear so I can show you the process. Um, but I'm going to be painting this first one like a yellow perch, like fire tiger style. So that's what I'm going to get going on right now. I remember when I first built this booth, it was like pristine, like super clean. But eventually, you know, you get overspray and you uh, spill things. Anyway, uh, here's the uh, <clears throat> here's the bait. Believe it or not, it's sanded. It's just like it got really dirty. <laughs> well, sanded, but it's it's ready. It's smooth. It's ready to go. So this is the one that I'm going to do as uh, this one. I'm going to do as a perch. So. Let me get started on that. All right, so far I have gotten a fairly good fire tiger perch pattern going here. I'm about to do some scales and most likely ruin this. <laughs> I'm actually pretty concerned because this looks pretty good, but I'm going to do a light misting of like a gold in here to try to make it look like scales. Um, and it might ruin everything. So I just wanted to show you before it gets destroyed. All right, I'm going to do my best to try to undo this one-handed. I didn't ruin it because I can still see the colors, but we'll see if, like, the... This is always, like, the best part, <laughs> just to see what you get ended up with. Oh, look at that. There is, like, a little scale pattern. Let's see if it will focus. Come on, focus! See the little scales? Nice. That turned out pretty good. All right, you gotta select an eye for this and then clear coat. Pretty sure this is the eye I'm gonna go with. I think it looks the best with this. So yeah, I'm gonna get those stuck on and we'll see what it looks like. All right, guys, so here is the finished perch jerkbait. Um, as you can see, I don't really have all the trebles on it. I'm thinking of whether or not I'm going to put like a, like a feathered tail on these. So that's the perch. And then here is, here is the uh, pike. Did a little like bloody gill action with a red eye on this guy. Again, might do the feathered tail on these. Unfortunately, it is winter in Minnesota, so I will not be able to test these out. But if you would like to see that video, go ahead and leave it in the comments down below or hit a, a like button there. It lets me know that you enjoyed this. If you have ideas for future videos, future builds, I'm getting into lure making. So any ideas of what you might want to see, what I can do. Um, I'm going to get like a tripod so you can get like process videos of me making it. But otherwise, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one, guys. Later.